Hey, this is Sohini with Double Lab, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a Discord bot um, that I created using the Firebase real time database. So, I think in our previous videos, we have learned how to create a Firebase real time database real quick in five minutes. And if you still haven't seen that video, do not forget to refer to the link that is stitched to the description below. So you can refer to that and you can learn how you can create a database in Firebase, a real-time one, um, real quick. So today our main goal is to establish a channel in Discord um, where people would just go in and type in their problems. Let's say your organization has a Discord server and you've got employees and there are employees in your server and there is a channel where they can post their problems let's say employee a is having problem in logging into your system employee b is having issue with some connectivity um stuff so like that there are multiple employees and they want to get all their problems sent to that particular channel so what this bot does is whenever you post your problem in that channel um this bot is going to capture that problem and save it in our firebase real-time database and a random ticket number is generated and i've done that using random string package and then that's sent to the user and they can keep referring to that in future so what's happening is it's storing the problem and it's sending to our real-time database and then um the team in our organization who takes care of employees problems or anyone's support problems incident reports they're going to take a look at the database and they're going to figure out how to solve this problem so that is one really great way to establish a communication between your internal teams and your um, support team so this could be done directly using the discord server and a channel in a discord bot so that is something that i tried to build today this is the code and i will give you a demo of that and then i'll do a small explanation of the code so the first thing that i'm going to do is run this code and i will get back to my discord server so before i write in my problem so i'll go back again and log into my firebase console so there you go and i'll go to my console and once i'm in here i will open discord demo this is the one that i created and in here i can go and click on real-time database and that is my database so this is something that i did some time back and this is how it's gonna look like in your real-time database when someone posts a problem like this to this channel so this is one of our double labs um server where we're trying to test all our bots and so i created this channel where people can go in and write down their problems it's just a demo it's just an example um, to help you understand how this works. So now let me do a short demo. Let's say, hi, I am having trouble accessing your training material. Let's say this is a problem. Can you please look into it? And I'll send this to this channel. So it says that thanks for the feedback. This is your support ticket number. We'll let Double Lab know, or we can say we'll let the internal team know. And then this pops up in our real time database. You can see this is the same ticket number that is in here WUSEA4E. And that's the same in here. So now when you hit on this, you can see the problem that I just wrote. It has got the ticket number and the username and the user ID. 
So this is something that I try to display in the database. There are more relative information against this message. You can print them as well. Um, that's a huge JSON. So I just decided to print the message, the ticket number, the user and the user ID. So now if I get back to my code in here, I will explain how the code works. So initially, I think we have learned how to build a Discord bot, how this works and stuff. So in this, um, the extra thing that we're going to add is const Firebase equals require Firebase because we're including this package. And to generate the random ticket numbers, I'm using random string function. Um, this um, package and I've downloaded this from npmgs.org. You can refer to that and get this downloaded as well. And then this is as it is. This configuration file is extremely important and make sure that you never share your configuration details with anybody because this is absolutely confidential. Anybody can use this and duplicate it and you might fall in trouble. So this can be achieved from the section when you get back to your Firebase and go to project overview settings, go to project settings, scroll down more and go to configuration. This is where you can get your configuration for this particular project, this application. And then you can get back and you can paste it in here. It's different for everybody. So make sure that you fetch yours. Um, once we've done this, we have created an initializer in here and a database. After that, we are trying to get into a try catch block where we're creating the database connection. And once we turn this on, we're sending all the data that we're trying to get um, inside from our Discord to our real time database and then we're turning the database connection off. It's important that you turn your database connection on and off else you're gonna land into trouble. There are lots of errors, especially when I was building an Alexa skill that uses real-time Firebase. Um, there were really, really weird errors. So normally there are unexpected errors. So it's better if you include these both. Um, and then in here, I am sending all the data to my channel. This is my channel ID. So whenever you want to know your channel ID, you can hit on the channel and just right click. You will get to see your ID. So you can copy the ID so that all the data directly comes inside of a channel and not the general channel. Because there is a possibility that most of the times things goes inside your channel. So this is it. And here is the message that I was printing. And that is it. And this is a catch block and this is my secret credentials for the bot and that is short inside of this so that's all so that is all that i wanted to share with you today and the best part of real-time database is when multiple people are going to write in their problems it's going to come up for real time it's going to pop up really cool all the problems so that is how this works this is in testing i haven't yet published this to our um external server yet this is just for our own testing purpose but we will soon come up um with a bit more modified version of this so that we can launch it and yeah that's all that i wanted to share today i will be sharing the code shortly with you all so that you can have access to it so if you really think this is a great idea and this is really helpful and this is cool awesome or whatever do let me know in the comment section below because I will keep an eye on that. And apart from that, if you really think that this video was useful, um, good, best, amazing, awesome, then do not forget to hit a like, share, and subscribe um, to our YouTube channel if you're new to this. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video.